going live testing you're live you know comments take a minute hi everyone I don't know if you can see me or if there's any lag or if the sound is good let's make sure it's live on my end here on YouTube click on myself Probably should turn the volume down. Oh, it's making me watch an ad. Nice. <laughs> I usually don't do this. Usually I have a comment by now. Hi, Tanya. Okay, we have a comment. Can you hear me? Testing, one, two, three. We have a lot of boxes. I don't know if I'm gonna do all of them because it's a lot. We found one May box, no, June box of BoxyCharm. Uh, there's two Fashion Stub boxes. There is a Walmart box, a Try My Snacks box, the Pettivore box. I don't even know what this one is, or this one. Probably a lore. They're just piled together. Hi, Rhonda, how are you? <sighs> Hi, So Eerie. Hi, Desiree. How are you guys? I'm gonna try not to look up like this. I mean, honestly, I don't, I feel like this feels unnatural anyways, because I am wearing uh, blue light glasses right now and I have a ring light because this room is not very bright. So I do need the, I feel like I do need the ring light. Hi, Samantha. Um, hi, Becky with the balance. Hi, baby face. So I kind of thought a lot of people have a lot of questions about Goldie Box because I've been getting a lot of emails and I haven't got back to everyone. So I thought I would also just like leave this as a QA and a then I would just answer questions in the comments if anybody has questions because shipping is still delayed. I'm still waiting for two items. So I think most of the questions will probably be answered with that. Like when am I actually going to ship the boxes? You know, I wish that I could give you guys a date, but I can't. You will get an email when they start shipping and I'll also post on Instagram when they start shipping. So the two day people will have theirs two days later. But I have about a third of the boxes now completely packed, just waiting for the bonus item to throw it in and send it out. <laughs> um, hope you are well, thank you. Yeah, I am kind of, I don't know. I've been, I've been having like a weird emotional I don't know what's been happening to me the past week, but I felt extra emotional about things, like just in general. And I'm already, I already consider myself to be an overly emotional person, but I've just like, whether it's happiness or not, like I was so happy I cried the other day. Like I was just so happy that I cried. And that is also, it also seems like that's a lot, but um, everything's just been kind of affecting me extra lately. So I feel like that means I'm good because maybe I'm like in touch with my emotions. I don't know. When people say like, how are you doing? I've been saying good. So <laughs> how is everybody else? I don't remember. I don't think I posted anything this week, right? So the last video I posted was my live last Friday. I'm pretty sure I haven't posted anything this week. I am going to post next week, probably on Sunday, the Rose Forever I got sent rose forever again, but this time in light blue. So I am going to post a review of that. And then I will probably post some, uh, a Brio box next week too. So there still will be two videos. I feel like I'm an over emotional person too. Um, most of the time I feel like it's not, it's people that I have relationships with have hated that about me that I am just like, if I am sad, I am devastated and if I am happy I am elated like there's not really just like a normal Jessica line in between um so yeah I think some people don't like dealing with that part of me but I've been like that my whole life so um <laughs> I think that is a good way to look at it uh crying is a good thing it frees you up so I also come from a very non-emotional family like I don't even know if I've, I think I've seen my mom cry like twice my whole life. And my brother is just like super easygoing. So I've always felt like the black sheep and that's actually why I like uh, Star Trek. So I'm gonna get like kind of nerdy right now. I really love Star Trek cause I really love Spock cause Spock is like part human. And like 
he wants he doesn't want to be human he doesn't want that emotional part of him like because he doesn't fit in with his like vulcan family right that's like emotionless and like all logic and so that i feel like i so related to that growing up <laughs> hi Catherine. me too it's the cancer in me well i'm a libra so i don't know hi jesse how are you hi abby um so yeah how's everybody else's week because i haven't like even had any comments from you guys this week since I didn't post anything. I hope everyone had a good week. And again, if the, I look up for some reason and my glasses have this, I'm sorry. Oh, I was explaining that. I forgot to explain that. <laughs> I'm wearing blue light glasses because I've been getting migraines again. And it's one of the things that like prevents my migraines. So I've been wearing blue light glasses every day. Catherine in the chat. Yay. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I am Team Catherine as well. So let's just start opening one. And I will keep an eye out for any chat comments. And yeah, I don't know if I've missed any other questions about customization. I have a lot of emails that I still need to get through um, that I will get through this weekend. But if anybody has a question now that I have not responded to you, <laughs> please let me know. We had our first hurricane of the year in Florida. Oh no! You know, I haven't even been paying attention to what's been happening anywhere else. <laughs> um, but I hope everyone is safe. Was it like a huge hurricane or just, I mean, are they all huge? I don't know too much about hurricanes. We do not get them here. Um, love your earrings. Yes, I forgot. I'm wait, I am wearing the earrings that, I think I'm wearing the silver ones today that are in the summer box. Hi, Tati. So I'm going to actually open this one first, Pettivore, uh, mostly because nobody ever opens this one. Like, it's rare. Love your curly hair. Uh, I was just being lazy because I had an early work meeting, so I didn't straighten it. There she goes with her scissors. <laughs> yep. Uh, we can't be trusted with scissors here, so it was a fun one. Oh, good. Yeah, I, I wonder, like, because when we have earthquakes here, they're not, they're scary every time. Even, because you never actually know how big an earthquake is going to be until, like, after it happened. So, <laughs> when you start to feel an earthquake, it gets, I feel like that's scary. But I know that, like, I guess a baby hurricane would just be, like, a, a really cool storm, right? I don't know. The party kind. Oh, my goodness. Um... Uh, what did Catherine say? I didn't post this week either. Aww. I thought, you know what? Me too. Plus no real boxes yet. Nice. Yeah. It feels good to take some time off sometimes because it's a very time consuming thing to have a YouTube channel. Okay. Um, what do you do to get great curls? I can actually show you exactly what I use. My hairdresser got it for me. I'll be back in one second. Okay, I'm back. I've never been able to find anything that works as good as this on my curls. It's called Unite Boing Curling Cream. I don't know, but I put like literally the tiniest amount in my hand with water and run it through my hair when my hair is still like damp, like pretty. It's not soaking wet, but like it's air dried just a little bit. And then I run that this through my hair. I've, ne I've never been able to get as good of curls like this from anything else. So... I've still been looking for something though for, so like if you see right here, this color treated part of my hair, it doesn't really curl the same as like, let me find you a, a natural part, this kind of curl, right? So they look different. <laughs> I'll put it next to each other. This one looks more like a wave and this one looks more like a curl. That's because I've bleached this too much. <laughs> so I haven't been able to find anything to revive that, but it's still working. It's still there. I don't know if you guys can even see, but. <laughs> um. Hi, Jess. Feel like we should get a puppy while we wait. <laughs> yes, the puppy. Um, hi, Catherine. Okay, you guys are so cute. Okay, uh, yeah, I could... No, my puppies won't come up right now because there is a gate. 
blocking them downstairs. <laughs> they will probably bark soon though. How does the Unite compare to the Recoil? I did not like the Recoil actually. I did try it and I didn't really like it. So um, this, I feel like nothing's in my hair. Like this just feels like my hair. There's no stickiness, there's no residue. It doesn't feel heavy. I love it. Um, and I feel like most other curl creams, if it gives me good curl, feels also feels kind of heavy or like greasy, you know? I don't know. That's just, it, everybody's hair is gonna be different just like everybody's skin is gonna be different though. And I also don't towel dry my hair. So my hair, I either air dry it or like I use a t-shirt. If I do towel dry it, I just kind of like let it sit in a towel. I don't like rub my hair with a towel ever. It makes my hair crunchy. Yeah, it. I don't like the feeling of that one in my hair, even if I can get a good curl. Let's pull these out. I hate these little things. Does everybody else dislike these? <laughs> they just get everywhere, especially when I do these mega ones where I have a bunch. This floor is always so messed up. And then today's Friday, so I actually had uh, someone come clean my house today. And now I'm going live. I'm going to mess up all this hard work that was done up here. Uh, hi, Ellen. How are you? I already found some on the floor. See? So let's, I don't know what month this is. Does it say it up here? June, June, 2021. I guarantee that I probably have May and April somewhere else, or maybe even here. No, because they do a brown box, but I don't feel like I've opened this recently. Uh, so you normally get four items. Some of them are full size. This box I believe is $18 a month and it is 100% cruelty free. So when you're going on a cruelty-free journey, it's a great box to try to find new brands. Also, if you go in and um, if you have any referrals or if you review some of their products, you get points and you can use those points to shop as well. So you can shop cruelty-free items in their like store where they have all of these brands. And I do, I do that, uh, mostly for fragrance though. So the first item is from K Voss and it's the Hey E. <laughs> I don't know. It's hay with an extra E. Lighter. Oh, high lighter. Hi. Wow. You know, if you were to just take two seconds to think before you talk, you would see that's trying to say high lighter. But why would you spell high H-Y-H-E-Y-E? -H -H -E -E? Um, Fat for Fun Summer edit sale is up. Will we be getting another battle of the bundles? There is a bundle in my cart right now. So most likely, we'll see what the schedule looks like. And if I'm still alive, you never know. You never know what's gonna happen to you from now until your box gets here, so. <laughs> All right, let's see. The Highlighter Luminous Highlighter Palette. So it just looks like three different shades of highlighter. A light, a medium, and kind of a dark color. It says buttery and silky blendable formula. You can be use it on your eyes or cheeks. So sugar, spice, and everything nice. The names are cute. This is made in China. Sugar, spice, everything nice. I don't even know if you're gonna see this, but highlighters don't always show up too well. Um, I love the lipstick on you. Oh, thank you. It's probably for the eyes. Oh, oh my gosh. Catherine is so much smarter than I am. Um, I just wore my halo earrings today from Goldie Box and got so many compliments. Oh, I love that. Can you guys even see this? Is my arm have to be like more turned? I'm just like talking while not even checking. Uh, yep. I have a mystery bundle too. Um, with Fafa Fun, you could die of old age if you said it fit me. That's so funny because, um, some of my boxes are sent through Pitney, I guess, uh, Bose or whatever, but it's not actually, it's not a shipping company. It sends through USPS. So I use Pirate Ship and Pirate Ship will ship all my international packages for me and then... Pretty much any package that's like too heavy for me to be able to do it with either FedEx Ground or FedEx Two Day, um, or too big, 
like the box size is too big. So some of your shop orders probably. The actual Goldie box sizes, the box sizes are all like pretty good. So um, the items are small, so I've been able to keep box sizes smaller. So I don't have to send it through pirate ship for like the lowest rate because they use cubic rates. But it ships through USPS. So I don't understand the difference of like just going straight through USPS or going through Pitney Bowes because I drop it off at USPS anyways, you know? So I don't know why it was treated differently that time that FabFitFun did that. Do they still use that? Thank you. Um, let's see. Can't wait for it. I don't know what you meant can't wait for, but or for the mystery bundle battle. Uh, thank you so much, Zulika. I hope I said it right this time. <laughs> so the next item, I can't remember. That was $36, by the way. And I probably wouldn't spend $36 for a three highlighter palette. Never. I would never. But, you know, they can't choose what the retail value is. So the next product is from Osima, and it's Naked Body Oil. This has cuckoo... Ku Kui oil, rosehip seed oil, and sea buckthorn. Uh, it says cruelty free and vegan. All everything in this box is gonna be cruelty free, and then it says made in the USA. Weird. It says sea bottom, but there's like nothing on the bottom. Well, there's like a serial number. That's super. Or maybe it means the bottom of this. No. I don't know why it says that. Uh, <laughs> perfect. Um, yeah, they still use. PB for some shipping. Interesting. Okay, oops, just got here. What box are we looking at? This is Pettivore, and it is the cruelty-free box with like four items. This Naked Body Oil has a $20 retail value. It says it has 11 nourishing oils. Let's actually read that. So it has Caprylic or Capric. They always write it like Caprylic slash Capric. Triglyceride. Then it has Jojoba Oil, the Kakui Oil that I already talked about. Sweet Almond Oil, the rose hip seed oil. This has hemp seed oil though. So if you're anti hemp or cannabis, this will have that. Avocado oil, bora borago seed oil. Evening primrose oil, sea buckthorn. Sea buckthorn is one of my favorite ingredients. It is anti-inflammatory and it's full of antioxidants. And what else? Uh, my nose is itchy. Rosemary, so it's probably gonna smell like rosemary. Rosemary extract. Doesn't look like it has, shoot, somebody just rang my doorbell. Hopefully that is FedEx, but I'm sorry because you're gonna have to hear my dogs bark for five minutes. Yeah, it's FedEx, I can hear the truck. Awesome. This is why lives are the worst because I can't cut this out. Cannoli, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, well, I think we're good. Um, no, no, we're not. She's not done. She, there's strangers coming to her house. It just smells like oil, actually. It doesn't smell like rosemary. Hey, cannoli, it's fine, babe. You're fine. And I have to go down there. Hey! So, we'll see how long this... Uh, your dogs are barking. I'm so sorry. Could that be the bronze mystery item? I'm still... It could be. No, it cannot be. Um, <laughs> I'm like, it could be. No, that actually gets shipped to my warehouse, not to my house. So I... Cannoli! Stop. <laughs> so I have a different location where, because sometimes things come on pallets when I order a lot. So that does not ship here. Everybody's dogs are barking. <laughs> oh man. Uh, well, of course, right now too. What's FedEx doing delivering at 5.40 on a, uh, my husband, Tim McGraw, has a dog named Cannoli, too. How cute! Um, I feel you about the dog, but this is my first live, and I like it. Okay, good. 
Um, well, welcome to live videos. I like it too. Actually, I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I do. But one, I don't have to edit. And I love editing, but it's time consuming. And then two, this is a... Two, I get to interact more. Normally, I'm just like replying to a comment. But this way, if you say something, I can say something. And then I could ask further clarification, then you could respond, and it's just like so much faster. So I try to answer every single comment on my videos, and right now I'm so behind. So if I've missed some of your comments, that is exactly why. Um, but <laughs> it makes sense about FedEx delivering at WH, at the warehouse, yeah. Um, ah. What was I saying? This is less time consuming, even though the video lasts two hours, it's less time consuming than creating a video, editing a video, responding to all of your comments on that video, you know? And then I can do like all these boxes instead of just one or two boxes. But we have to hang out for like an hour and a half, usually. Uh, this has zero scent to it. It says this lightweight hydrating mist infuses skin with key actives to rebalance, soothe, and purify. There, was there? Okay, so Tulsi water, rose flower water, glycerin, cucumber fruit extract, regular water, a word that I cannot say, leucono stock, L E U C O N O S T O C. I have no idea what that is or what it does. Um, aloe leaf. Uh, sorbus something fruit ferment <laughs> and that's it so I guess that's why it has no scent a lot of these things I think are fragrance free as well and last I actually have a rejuvenating facial oil but it's the littlest tiniest sample ever so I think those three items were all full size and then here we have a sample size maybe it says, this rejuvenating facial oil helps smooth, firm, and brighten skin. Made with 100% stress-relieving stress natural oils, it calms skin to soothe tension and stress. Oh, this is so cute, though. Like, this little bottle. That's adorable. Um, I'm happy for the long lives on a Friday. Great way to close out my night. Perfect. So, it says, Zenicure. I hate it when they say stuff like that. Let's just find the ingredients. <laughs> so this also has caprylic capric triglycerate. So basically, this is if um, glycerin and coconut oil were mixed together and had a little baby. It's kind of like, I think they call it fractionated coconut oil as well. Um, when coconut oil is in that form, it doesn't really clog your pores for some reason. So that is the only form of coconut oil that I will use on my skin because I just have oily skin. So coconut oil is a big problem for my skin. But for some reason, uh, caprylic triglyceride never has an effect on my skin. So avocado oil, sweet almond oil, ylang ylang oil, if I'm saying that right. This also has hemp seed oil. So we have two items now in this box that have um, cannabis or hemp. Uh, blackberry seed oil, lots of antioxidants in this one. Uh, one that I cannot pronounce, Spilanthus acmella flower extract. Somebody could maybe help me with pronunciation there. Um, <laughs> lots of extracts that I can't pronounce actually because they're using all the technical terms. And then patchouli oil. Do do do. You know, the essential oils are used are 100% natural. Let's smell it. Time for me to leave work, so I'll keep up on my cell phone. Sounds good. Um, oh, there's, okay, not only does it have a little screw cap, it also has this thing, some sort of other cap. I don't wanna use my teeth. Oh my gosh, goodness gracious. This, that must smell great. Well, if we could open it, we could find out. I don't really wanna use my teeth. Not me using scissors in a way they're not meant for. <laughs> you know, it actually worked so good though. Okay. Let's just put a tiny drop here. I do not want to waste it. I like oils. You know, it also doesn't really smell like anything. 
to me it just smells like vegetable oil. Yeah, interesting, but I am happy that is $9 retail value, which is kind of crazy for that small of a bottle. Then the toning mist was $10, so the first one was $36, $20, $56, $66, 75 so we have $75 retail value for $18 this box you always really get your money's worth plus it's 100% cruelty free and you get these pretty little cards that I do like to put places that have this on the back but I like to just like keep this as a, a look you know um darn I know I'm I'm just as surprised as you are so I have two fashion to boxes here I can do them at the same time we can see which one is actually current <laughs> One of these has to be June. Actually, maybe I'll save June and I'll actually open it, like, for real. That's not, that, I don't know what I'm saying. Not for real, but, like, in a regular video. Because I need other videos to film, too. So let's see. This was shipped on June 11th, and this was shipped on June, May 21st. So this is May, and this is June. Yes? Yes. That's weird. Why was it shipped first class here, but it was shipped prim priority one day here? Interesting. This is also located really close to where I live. Um, what was that last box? It is called Pettivore. P-E-T-I-T. -T, like Pettivor, the little desserts, but like the French desserts, but with V instead of an F. V-O-U-R. And it's weird because you do get four items. They call it like creme de la cruelty free. It's $18. It's a great box. I still get it because it's a great box. So I am going to open the May fashion still the box. And then I'll think about whether I should open the June one. Because I do have a Brio box. I'm probably going to have boxes coming in. We'll see. I hate the black fluff more than the white fluff. Let's pull everything out. Oh, this is the one that I saw Catherine recently open because I am behind on videos and I'm really excited for one of these items. Really, really excited. Like the most excited I think I've been for an item in a while because we've never received anything like it before. Okay, so this one is V-Box. Really clever name, V-Box by Fashionsta. And... Their theme is Inner Beauty. An enormous thank you to these six inspiring women for sharing their healing modalities to stay mentally healthy. Ooh, I want to be mentally healthy. Okay, so let's start in order. Catherine Natural Cosmetics Eyeshadow Palette. Catherine Girl Kindness Paraben Free Cruelty Free Natural. This box is typically cruelty free. Um, well, this is not my style at all. Well, there's glitter. Glitter can usually win me over, even if the colors are not colors that I would normally use. Um, just another reason to love Goldie. No crinkle. <laughs> I absolutely hate it, and I don't know why boxes, like, use it. I don't understand why they use it. I don't think that's the best padding. Even, like, using brown paper is better padding, I think, than those little crinkle things, you know? Um, so yeah, this is kind of pink. I do wear pinks in makeup. I just don't like the color pink and maybe like the fact that this is in a pink case is making me desire it less, but I love glitter. So let's, it's called sparkle too. Oh, that's really pretty. If you can see it, we'll see. It's hard because this camera is not as good quality as my actual camera. And I could hold it closer, too. And sometimes I think, like, if I hide my hand, it's better even. You know? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. I'll hold it there for a few seconds, and then we'll move it away. But, yeah, the rest of this doesn't really inspire me. So I'm going to probably give it to one of my friends that wears more, like, natural makeup. That's the best part of having a lot of friends is I always have an abundance of people that want free stuff. <laughs> Hi, Vanessa Beauty. How are you? Next is Earth Harbor. I do love Earth Harbor. This is Laguna. What? We have two Earth Harbors. Okay, we might as well just do both. So we have Aurora and Laguna. Doo -doo -doo. 
Oh, I remember Catherine's like had something floating in hers too. I do have this one already, the green Aurora. So I'm probably gonna save it to give it away. It has sea greens and hemp, hemp seed. Okay, that one, I know Earth Harbor is definitely cruelty free and vegan. It says also made by mermaids, but I don't know what that means. So the Aurora says energize and soothe skin while inducing lumin dewy luminance, giving your face illuminating superfood nutrition. For the body one is Laguna, one of my favorite beaches. We actually reuse the cardboard that's run through the machine. My husband uses it for his guitar making. Fixing crafts, that's awesome. Um, yeah, mine doesn't have anything floating in it. <laughs> I think it was this, or maybe it was the Gypsy Soul. No, I don't remember, but this is Marine Algae and Blue Yarrow Body Serum. It might be the Gypsy Soul, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I watched so many videos a day that I'm like, <laughs> that's what it was, right? I remember. And then <laughs> we have Gypsy Soul. Organics. Mama owned and operated Scratch Made since 2010. Facial toner. It has little things floating in it, but they're just like little bubbles. And it says cactus flower. Rose water, cactus flower, aloe vera leaf, prickly pear seed. Prickly pear seed is one of my favorite ingredients as well. Aloe and prickly pear seed. Witch hazel leaf, willow bark, bergamot, rose flower, two ounces. I'm probably not going to like it because it's probably going to smell like rose. Actually, let's smell it. Let's smell it. Let's open it. Even though Catherine had something floating in hers, we're still, this one doesn't have anything, so. It's floral for sure, but I don't know that I would say it's all rose. Uh, you can definitely smell rose. Oh, there was another, there was bergamot too, right? Ooh, yeah, not my cup of tea. Oh, they watched the video and DM'd me. <laughs> That's so nice. Okay, next we have Ola Neon Lipstick Balm. Can I use it? Can she use it? I don't know. I've never seen that wax before in my life. We're going to Google. We have a computer right here. Okay. I cannot see you guys right now. I just want to make sure that this wax is not made with petroleum. This wax is made from, is a mineral wax derived from coal and shale. It can be synthesized from petroleum. So I am not going to use it because I don't like to put petroleum on my lips. Um, cool, glad I checked. By the way, it is C E R C C resin, C E R E S I N wax. I had just never seen that before. Let's see. It actually also has paraffinum, which is also petroleum wax. So definitely not going to use it. It is what it is. Uh, so I don't know if I should open it, especially since this is an older box. So most of you, I mean, probably not most of you, but many of you have probably seen it. <sighs> In the box by Fashion Show, there's a really good one. Willow Bark is a good one. Rose is actually amazing for your skin. Coal and shale. <laughs> um, yeah, but it says it could also be petroleum. And it has another petroleum wax anyways. So I got in the shade Love Me, but I will save this for someone who is less picky than me. But the thing I'm most excited for is that we got sugar wax and I sugar. That is how I remove hair from my body because it, you remove the hair, like it goes with your hair instead of against it like regular other waxes. So this is my preferred way to wax. And I don't, Typically, sometimes I do use hard wax and I just use a wax warmer, but I don't typically have sugar wax, but you can make it naturally with just sugar, water, and lemon, and that's exactly how this is made. So I'm so excited because we have never received this ever, 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 ever in a box. 
Oh, it smells good. It smells like you can eat it. I mean, you probably can because sugar, water, lemon, you know, edible for sure. But this is a $10 retail value, and I think this is what I'm most excited about getting in this box. And it is from Nurture from Nature, and it's two ounces. Love it. Also cruelty-free. Love your earrings. Thank you. These are the earrings in the Summer Goldie box. They are the Monstera earrings. Um, <laughs> did you know that the guy who discovered petroleum jelly used to eat spoonfuls of it every day? <laughs> Fun facts on the EP Beauty channel here. <laughs> I did not know that, but I always like having weird facts. So that was that box. Do we want to see June? Let's just do it. All right, let's just do it. What is today? Yeah, so I'll be getting July like soon. Let's just do June. Oh man, any other fun facts anyone has about petroleum or other substances? Beautiful. My sister loves that, actually. I saw this sign in Home Goods that said be beautiful like that with you in it. And that's her motto. So I almost got it for her. Let's remove everything out of this fluff. Okay, libido. It says cutie. That's cute. Plus a beauty and makeup geek. Awesome. Um, now that I see them on, I want them more. <laughs> Perfect. Did you are, did you put these in your box, Vanessa? I honestly, I don't think I've packed yours yet. So the way that I pack them. Nobody's asked any questions yet about Goldie Box. I said, you guys can come ask whatever questions you want. Um, the way that I pack Goldie Box, I pack all of the two days. And last time I did it over two different days, but this time, because I'm just waiting on the bronze item, they're almost all, they are all packed. All the two days are pre-packed. They're As soon as I get that item, they will all go out on day one. And then I will do the rest, like day two, three, whatever. And then I pack in the order that you guys go in and customize. So if you customize late, chances are you're going to get yours late. But because so many are pre-packed right now, I have a feeling like a lot of them are going to go out like at the same time. <laughs> and FedEx and the post office are just going to kind of hate me, but you know. Hi, Freddy Krueger. Um, yes, that that's a good box. Yay. Uh, no, you didn't get Earth Harbor. I got it in the last box. I got two Earth Harbor in the last box. You still use the app Live Me. I do, and I'm going live like every Tuesday, but I haven't for the past month because I've been traveling. So um, probably, actually a Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday still would be a fine day. Um, I go live Tuesday night, Freddy Krueger. Do you still have a lot of Winter Mystery Goldie boxes left? I don't know how many I have left. I can check on my phone maybe. Let's check this out. Because I do keep inventory. So let me see if I can find inventory. Those will not, also I can answer, I can answer more questions. Those will not ship like right away. What was your name on it? Because I have a new account. It's everything proof. Just one word. Everything proof. Actually, I might have changed it to EP Beauty 13. I'm not sure, Freddy Krueger. Look up everything proof and then also look up EP Beauty 13. So let's go to items, all items, mystery boxes. Uh, 
What did I call them? I didn't call them mystery boxes. Last call. Okay. It's loading stock, so I don't know just yet. How about the add-ons? I think they may ship with the Goldie box, or do they ship separately? If I can fit them in your box, they will ship with Goldie box. Sometimes I can't ship them in the box because just the makeup of the box of what you ordered. <laughs> um, no, I did not get Earth Harbor in the June box. So, mystery boxes. Where are you? There we go. 26 left in stock. That seems like a lot. A lot of people ordered them so far. I don't remember how many I started with though. It's a huge Earth Harbor bottle. The color turquoise so good. Yeah, uh, not for me. Sad day. <laughs> All right, Freddie <laughs> or AJ, <laughs> have a great time. Have a good night. Goldie Box definitely should try to get Earth Harbor. Okay, so here's the thing. One of the things I tried to do with Goldie Box is I tried to get brands in it that are not typical brands that you're seeing in other boxes. And I feel like that is appreciated because Earth Harbor is like in every beauty box, right? So I'm trying not to get the items that you get kind of repetitive. I love Earth Harbor, but because they are in everything and because like Wander Beauty was in everything, like those are just types of brands that like I haven't reached out to the brand for that reason. So, but let me know, what do you guys think? Do you want some of those in your box anyway? Because you love them too? Because, hi Stephanie, because I'll do it. But I purposely did not reach out to those brands when I started Goldie Box. But as we get bigger, I could definitely add more. Are all of the last call boxes the same or a variety? It is a variety. Even the number of items in the box will be a variety. So if it has a final straw, final straw has a higher retail value. So you might get three items. If it has like some of the smaller items, then you might get seven or eight items. So <laughs> there's a variety of how many items are in the box because I just wanted to make sure everybody gets their money's worth. So it's more like the boxes have like a typical retail value that I think makes it worth it um, versus like number of items and which items. So I hope that makes sense. Um, is it too late to upgrade shipping for our summer Goldie box? Yes. Yeah, those I already printed those. Um, so I print little stickers that I put on the back and then I put the label over that sticker. So I already printed the sticker that tells me who my two days are and who they are not. But I feel like because we're waiting for an item, I might even end up packing all the boxes before I get that item. You know. <laughs> uh, I have a ton of Earth Harbor right now, but I do love it so I could go either way. Earth Harbor and everything else is different. Wait, what? <laughs> what do you mean in everything else? I like the uniqueness of Goldie Box items. Okay, I like that you have different products in the other boxes. Okay, good. Um, that was my intention in the beginning because I felt like a lot of brands are repetitive and I still, I still have some repetitive brands but it might be like one or two out of your 16 options. So if you already got that item, it's fine. So that's why I'm thinking like, because it's customizable, maybe the people who don't want Earth Harbor just won't get it, but I don't wanna pick something that nobody ends up customizing and then I end up with like hundreds of them. Um, I like the original Goldie Box items. Good. Okay. Let's start with the palette. Ace Beauty, Vintage Dawn. I know I'm not going to like this. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. Um, <laughs> it says highly pigmented, reminiscent of beautiful sunrises. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I already have this one. Oh, I do like it. Just kidding. It's brighter than I expected. I thought it was going to be like muted. I don't know why. Did the salad topper come in? <laughs> no, we're also waiting on the salad topper. So here's the deal with the salad topper. Uh, it ships to me from New York, but I ordered a large amount of them. So my first order was small, so they could ship it to me right away. And I expected that my second order, even though it was bigger, that like 
it would just ship to me right away. But um, that company is based in Europe, so that had to pass customs and all the other things. So it has now, it is now in the US and today it shipped to me from New York. So I should have that one in three days. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Yes, your choice. I did. I don't get a lot of boxes. Okay. Yes, I like that you have different as well. I love that you are including unique brands and don't want to, that to change, but I love Earth Harbor and Glow Recipe. They are part of the reason I'm subscribed to Box Charm for them at sale prices. Okay, well, I will reach out and I will see what Earth Harbor can do. I'm also not that big of a box, so I might not be able to get it like now, but I could definitely consider getting it in the future because I do love the brand. And typically, so far what I've been doing is finding brands that, around my house that I already know that I love and then contacting those brands and saying like, hey, by the way, I really love your brand. <laughs> and um, what do I need to do to get it in my box? <laughs> and we just dropped our sugar wax. So <laughs> next we have Cutie Oil. Cutie Oil, Mia, restore brittle nails back to health, nourish your cuticle, your cuties and nails <laughs> with a mix of coconut oil, macadamia oil, meadow foam oil, and hoba oil. Ooh. It says a mix of passion fruit and tangerine with mild notes of pink peony and jasmine. Yes. Yes, we are for that. Okay. Whew. Oh, this is an interesting little topper thingy. You know, is my sense of smell gone? I feel like everything's just smelled like oil to me. And this, this says it has a passion fruit, tangerine, mild notes of... It smells like oil to me. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I can't smell it. What inspired the burrito blanket? So actually, I was shopping for fall and I really wanted a blanket in fall. So but I didn't want it to be like super heavy because like I have to ship it in a box to you guys. <laughs> so doesn't it smell amazing? Catherine, I literally can't smell it. I'm kind of like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> I can't smell it. Oh my, oh my god, if you can't smell it. it it's you, really? Mm. <laughs> it's my nose plugged. I have had some allergies lately, but not enough that I thought my sense of smell was gone. <laughs> Do you maybe have to shake it? No, we'll try that. We'll try that. I wouldn't mind seeing Body Oil by Hab Habon... Maria Marianella and Goldie. I haven't seen it anywhere since we happened last year, two years ago. I'll contact them. Now it smells a little bit floral. I didn't even put it back on though. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can smell it now. I didn't even put any, let's put it on my hand. No, I still can't really smell it. I don't know, it's me. My nose is plugged maybe. I mean, I feel like my nose feels fine, but I have allergies or it could be like from wearing glasses, like pushing on my sinuses. So like I do have allergies lately, but not enough to not, it smells good to me. Oh, great. Um, so what I was saying about the burrito blanket is I was looking for a blanket for fall and I didn't want it to be a heavy blanket. So I just kind of contacted different blanket companies and I thought this one was kind of funny and they were like, yeah, we'll send it to you. And then I got the blanket and it's thin, like it's very thin. It's not a, it's cold out blanket. It's a, I went out to the beach and now I'm walking home in the dark and I want a blanket that I could take with me. So it's thin while still being warm and being ridiculously soft. So I think it's like perfect for camping or for bonfires or like I said, going to the beach, anything that you would do at night in the summer when it's like a little bit cooler. If you live in like Las Vegas or a desert or something where it's like still 80 at night, then that's not the item for you. But um, it's still warm. I'm not gonna say it's not warm because I use it like for warmth, but it's lightweight and I love that. And I think that like that makes it easy to carry around. So I did end up deciding to move it to my summer box even though I wasn't ready to order that large of a quantity. What would you recommend to start with in a cruelty-free journey? So the thing that I started with, so it depends why you're going cruelty-free. If you're going cruelty-free for animal cruelty, um, I watched a lot of animal cruelty 
videos about like what actually happens and all of that, which I do not recommend doing. You don't need to do that to love animals, but I just was curious. And uh, the fragrance industry to me had some of the most cruel practices. So the first thing I wanted to change was my perfumes and fragrances to being cruelty free. So um, they basically gas animals with fragrance. Like that's how much fragrance they, so it's not just like, oh, let's spray a tiny little bit on a bunny rabbit and like see if it has a reaction. Like it's literally like an unreal amount of fragrance that would be like impossible for us to breathe in as humans too. So, um, Hi Jess, did the survey for mystery bears go out yet or did I miss it? It did go out, but let me double check for you. Um, actually, can you email me with your email? Do you have a stuffy nose? So this side is stuffy from like having allergies or sinus pressure, I don't know. But this side is completely fine. I still really didn't smell it, so... <laughs> um, so anyways, sorry, I was talking about cruelty-free. Wow, I am really not thinking straight right now. I'm just like, ah. Okay. So I would recommend getting an all cruelty free box like this and then just finding brands that way. So the Petty Vore box was a box that I got when I went cruelty free. And then I knew fragrance. My first goal was to like not purchase any more fragrance unless it was cruelty free. That was my first goal. And then after that, I switched to like okay, what's the next item that I'm only going to purchase that's cruelty free? It's hard to do it all at once because that's a ton of money uh, to replace every single makeup item in my makeup stuff. Like that's a ton of money. You can't do it all at once. Like unless you are, you know, abundantly wealthy and then good for you. Um, but if you're not, <laughs> then you want to do it a little bit at a time. So you have to pick and choose like what items, what's your next investment item that you're going to get cruelty free. And then once you find one, like I keep buying that one. So like I use the same foundation over and over. <laughs> I don't like to buy 20 foundations and like find the best one. I use the same one. It's good for me. I love it. And that's all I use. And I know it's cruelty free. So yeah. But cruelty free is like even, <laughs> even the hand soap that you use. So this is one of the last companies that I like broke up with. And I still am not fully broken up with them because they do invest a lot of money in trying to change the cruelty free laws in China and that's uh, Bath and Body Works. Is that the correct name? Yes. Yes. Bath and Body Works. Um, I still do purchase their candles, but they're like soaps and lotions and all of that. They sell those in China and the animal uh, testing is required by law in China. So they are, they have put a ton of money because they want to keep selling there, but they also want to say that they're cruelty free in the future. They put a ton of money into investing in, uh, showing other the Chinese government other ways to and like they were actually partnered with another uh, with a research firm showing them how to not test on animals so I do kind of still support them but I still feel guilty when I'm even when I'm buying like my favorite candle I still feel kind of guilty because I've kind of stripped all the other cruelty free out of my life or all the other like animal testing companies out of my life um so I still feel a little bit of guilt when I'm buying those candles um, good night, Vanessa. Always miss when it gets good. Have an amazing night. Good night, Vanessa. Uh, let's see what else. I am still horrified at what is tested on animals. So am I, especially because it's really not necessary. Like, like ridiculously not necessary. Okay. Let me go back because I know I missed something else. Doo -doo -doo. I bought a burrito blanket for a coworker for Secret Santa. I've wanted one ever since. How did you feel it? It feels so good. Like honestly, it's such a weird thing, but also, you know, it's cool. Uh, <laughs> would love to see Teamy skincare. So actually, I'm a Teamy affiliate, so I have a lot of contacts at Teamy. So I should probably contact them and see uh, because I love the brand Teamy. I truly love that brand. They have great ingredients lists. I use a lot of their products still. Um, let's see. I bought my brother a burrito blanket for Xmas wrapped in aluminum foil. <laughs> yeah, that is so cute. Uh, it's perfect for, it's a perfect Florida blankie. I've been to Florida when it is freezing cold though. I think like two years ago, I went for New Year's Eve and I was like, this is not the Florida that I thought it was because I was freezing the whole time I was freezing I had to like buy clothes while I was there because I was so ill prepared for how cold it was going to be 
Um, and then I went on a cruise after, and the Bahamas were warm. So I'm like, how how is it warm here? But the second I get back on land, I'm cold. <laughs> I'm back cold. Not land, but like, what do they call it? Yeah, land, I guess. If you're on a cruise, you're not on land. You're in a boat. Um, now I feel like my nose is extra stuffy. <laughs> Okay, Navel Soap Company is a small woman-owned company and they have great items. I like their shampoo and conditioner bars. I think those would be cool in a box. So I am still trying to decide if I want to do shampoo and conditioner bars because I feel like, like Goldie Wax is customizable and I'm worried that that is not everybody's cup of tea. So I might have to do some surveys and like feel that out because if nobody customized that and I end up with so much extra inventory, like I don't know what I would do with it, you know? And I order... I ordered expecting half of you to try to, half of you to customize the item. So there are a couple things. So let me think of something. The highlighters. The highlighting palette that we had in winter. Yeah, it was in winter. The highlighting palette, I have so many of those left over because nobody really customized that item. So there's a ton of those. And that's like, what am I gonna do with all those highlighters now? I don't know. <laughs> Um, okay. Oh, okay. Thanks, Vanessa. I didn't know you're still going to let it play. Um, teamy, nice. Actually made a mistake. I received a teamy product in the box by Fashta. It's pretty amazing oil. Uh, I just saw a spoiler for BoxyCharm that the pure foundation you said you like will be in the add-on sale. Yay! I'm hoping to get it and try it out. It's the best. It seriously is the best. If you need full coverage, it's the best. Hi, Sue. How are you? I knew what you were meaning, Vanessa. Hi, Laura. Maybe pre-order add-ons for shampoo, conditioner, bars. Yeah, maybe. But also, like, what kind of rate can I get if, if like, so there's 400 of you or, like, 425 or something. So <laughs> what kind of... Uh, deal could I get if like only 50 people wanted it like I need to get a good enough deal to get it in the box so we'll see we'll see and actually as Goldie Box grows it would be less of an issue It'd become a non-issue the bigger the box is because there would be more like variety of customers right uh people missed out on the highlighter it is amazing I love the highlighter that's it's hard because I never know what you guys like I had no idea what items were gonna sell out. Actually this time, the thing that sold out was the Hello Sunshine towel and then the tie-dye socks. These are things I would never, those are the two things that sold out right away. Those are those are things I would never have thought were gonna sell out first. Um, and then the first time it was Overtone and the family game and that's because I didn't have as many of the game and as many of Overtone because they could not re-up my order without uh, Overtone couldn't re-up my order at all because they had closed down wholesale. And then uh, the game was going to charge me like $25 for the game because it was a pricey game. And so I got like a set amount originally for a good deal. But then anything I bought after that, like I was getting like their regular wholesale price. So we did not increase that order either. Also, it was a very big item and I knew I wasn't going to be able to ship it in the box um, after I got it, I thought it was small. I thought it was going to be smaller than it was when I got it. So that was a mistake in reading the description and how much something weighs. Uh, so those two did sell out because there was like half of half the amount of that. So like 25% of that versus everything else. I had about 50% for everyone. Um, I miss you too. Reviews with Sue. Your towel, Sue, you're going to get the towel. Don't worry. Do not worry. <laughs> the Hello Sunshine towel is one of my backup items I was considering purchasing after. Um, people cancel. So some people customize. And then when it comes time for payment, they're like, yeah, I don't know if I can do this payment. So a lot of people cancel. So I haven't gone through all the customizations. But every time, even with Overtone, there was like two extra Overtones at the end. So like e even someone who got Overtone canceled because I let you guys cancel after customization. But I don't know that until I'm done packing all the boxes. Because when you cancel, I don't go put all those things back in inventory. It would take too much time for me to do that. So it's still out of inventory, basically, until I get to the end and I see, like, oh, here's, like, the 20 people that I didn't pack. 
do they have an active order? No, they don't. So then I can cancel all of those. So that's the way that I do it. And so there's always like one or two extras of everything at the end, even if it did sell out, but it's hard for me. I usually end up putting those in the surprise boxes, um, unless it's a bonus item. So it's hard for me to go back and think like, who would have the next person, who would the next person, <laughs> who would have been the next person to select this item? There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I will leave you on for me to listen. I won't be able to talk much. Oh, by the way, this was purple in color. Um, are store purchases still available without shipping or too late? Yes, until Friday, today. Yeah, till end of day today, you can still use the shipping discount. When do you start shipping? So that is the most common question that I do not have an actual answer to. I don't know. I lost the cap to this. So we're just going to set it down there. Doo -doo -doo. This is a pretty purple color. Uh, yeah, that's a question that I don't, I don't know. Sue, as soon as I get my bronze bonus item, they start shipping. And I have a feeling, I mean, I don't even know when it's going to get here. I check it every day. <laughs> Constantly. I'm like stalking the package. I do not know when it's going to get here. So uh, I do know that now the uh, salad topper will be here in three days, three business days, so probably like Tuesday. Hopefully the bronze bear bonus item will also be here around that time and I can just like throw them all in there and ship them out. I'm also planning on going to New York in the end of July and potentially going to Cancun like the weekend after that. So I would really like to have everything packed by then <laughs> because yeah, I go, I work at a university and school starts in August. So I'm trying to get all my last vacation like out, you know? Okay. Wait, the store, it's still going on. Yes. You can go to Goldie shop. Um, Vanessa, you should have received an email to give you free shipping because you're a customer. So it's cold. It's Goldie shop. And it also has the link. If you did not get the email, <laughs> let me know. Because for some reason, sometimes the emails, I send them out as a mass email through MailChimp. Sometimes it says you guys like were removed from the email list, but it doesn't tell me why. So I thought like maybe you removed yourself. But then when I try to add some, like a new email out to go back in, then New York, I am going back to New York, Vanessa. I'm gonna stay in the same place. So <laughs> if you wanna come meet me, I'm going to a Mets game. Um, it's gonna be my... I'm going to a Mets game and then I'm going to a Dodgers game in August and like that's all the games I'll be able to go to because once school starts is my busy season and I will not be able to travel anymore. Um, makes sense not to add a couple items back to McCray and would not expect you to track interest in those. Makes sense for you to put them in mystery boxes. Yeah, that's the best way I can think to do it. So some people, some of the mystery boxes actually like get some of the most coveted items, but uh, yeah, not everybody, but you know, every once in a while, someone might get one of the items that sold out. I did see that in IG. Um, oh, about my shipping. Yes. The Sophia Rinkert body butter soap is so great. I'm in love with it. We just put a new one in the shop or I just put a new one in the shop. Spiced honey. Super loving that one too. The peach is my favorite, but um, spiced honey is becoming a close second. I'm horrible with email. I will go check. So the only reason I do it with email is because when I do the free shipping, I'm putting it in your box. So I can't just give that free shipping link to everybody or the free shipping, free shipping code to everybody because I can't like, I can't free ship like one item like across the country to someone that isn't getting a box. So yeah, it's kind of embedded, like, I guess in your box price, because I'm already shipping your box. Whoops, I'm gonna break my phone. I'm already shipping your box. Um, let's go Mets, but I'm a Mets fan. Well, I'm going because my team is playing the Mets. So I will not be rooting for the Mets, but I am crossing that ballpark off my list. That's why it goes via email. And then the shop is open. If you just go to goldiebox.com, it'll say like Goldie Shop or whatever. I think it's open and you could just click that and it'll link you directly there, but you won't see the free shipping code. And I can't just give it on here either just because it, that also would not make sense. I only want Goldie Box subscribers to get it. Hi, Alicia. Um, I am going now. Okay, perfect. I'm so impressed that you do all of this work on top of another job. You inspire me to do literally anything with my free time. 
honestly, my life is like my life is super hectic right now because I'm doing that. <laughs> I'm doing Goldie Box. I'm doing YouTube still. Like I still do all my videos. Obviously not as much as I used to before I started Goldie Box, but I still do post videos, um, which I feel is also a full time job. Um, I work at a full time job. Sorry. Sorry. I work at. There, I'm, I don't know what to do. Um, you look, oh, thank you so much. All the puppies just crying their little heart out. Um, so I work my full time job, YouTube, this, and I have like started like volunteering too and I'm just like I feel like I should probably stop like I think my plate is finally full enough you know but this is part of my personality I really like to be busy so I do think that now I am finally at my max capacity and I will not add anything extra without getting rid of something so yeah this is as far as I'll go but if I get into law school I would quit my nine to five job and law school would become what my nine to five job is right now and I would probably have to like minimize YouTube and then I would have to hire people to pack the Goldie Box boxes, but I would still do all the like product sourcing myself and all of that, like getting all the products and shopping for the products. Like that would be done myself, but I think that I would just have someone else do customer service and packing for me. Uh, my little sister would definitely do it. Like I know hands down, she'd be down. So, okay. So that's enough of that. Um, Puppies, let's see them. <laughs> well, if one of them hops the fence and comes up here, I will show them to you. But there's a little fence keeping them. They can hop the fence. They're just, they don't normally do it. Uh, but every once in a while, they will. So the dogs are also a full-time job. <laughs> yes, they are a full-time job. And right now, so I moved houses. This is my new house. This house does not have a dog door. So I walk my dogs instead of um, them going in and out. My old townhouse had a little dog door to the patio so they could go out whenever they wanted to. So I'm coming home on my lunch breaks, even though I work kind of, I don't work that close to where I live. So I'm coming home on my lunch breaks, literally like walking them really quick and then like going back and eating at my desk. Not the best. I need to hire a dog walker for sure. <laughs> like <laughs> I need to figure something out about that, but I'm only working two days a week on campus right now. And then the rest of the days I'm working from home. So um, don't forget dog mom. You're so cute. Um, hi, Monica. What girl volunteering on top of everything else? Yeah, so I became a big brother, big sister. I uh, highly recommend it. It's literally the best. You get to like mentor a kid that kind of just needs one-on-one -on -one time to help develop their dreams and like all of that. And I had a big sister when I was in elementary school. She was terrible, absolutely terrible did not even want to really talk to me. I feel like she was maybe forced to do it. And so the reason I wanted to do it was so that I could um, give a better experience to someone else in the program because I do think that it would be a really good program if somebody like actually does want to communicate with you <laughs> during. So yeah, that is, I just like got like all my paperwork and you have to do like fingerprints and like all this other stuff. So <laughs> it's digital right now, but then after three months of doing it digitally, uh, three visits, I think it's two visits per month that are required, um, and then you could do more. So I'm planning to do three times a month, meeting three times a month digitally, and then after three months, the kid, the parents, and the big, the little, the big, and the parents decide if they are all comfortable meeting in person, and then you could start doing stuff in person with them, like going to art shows or like whatever thing they love. Um, the program actually matches you with someone with your same interests. So things that I love, they match me with they they match me with a little that loves the same things that I like. So that um, when we go do activities together, it's gonna be activities we would both enjoy doing. And then they get one on one time with like an adult like role model. Sometimes they just have like a big family. Sometimes they have absent parents. So there's a lot of reasons why they might be in the program. But every child decides to be in the program. So I should probably flip this around. So it's not something that's forced upon them. Like they decide that they want a big brother or big sister. So that's kind of cool. Okay, let's see what else. That said, MailChimp is so much better than sender or mail or light. Wait, what did you say about MailChimp before? Um, uh, 
I don't, I didn't find it. Wait, you're going to the game too, Vanessa? The whole little New York will be there. Kids and everything. We normally get VIP section. My brother is all about. Wait, I'm so confused. Do you, are you saying you go to all the home games? Now I'm really confused because does that mean I might see you at the game? <laughs> um, hi, Teresa. Let's see. Catherine said that's awesome, Jess. So sweet. Busy. It's good. That's awesome. Okay. I'm caught up. Next we have floss. <laughs> This is a sheer lip tint. Can we use it? I can't even read this. Clean beauty ingredients. How could so there's no way someone could read this. It's like white on the lightest pink ever. Oh, it has my microcrystalline wax, so I will not use this. Um, but here's the color. I think I got this before in a different one and I got like a bright pink one. This is your honor, but I'm going to save this for sister or friend that does not care what they put on their lips. And then uh, Levito, inspired by nature, age away hydrating cream. I think I have this already. Evening prim rose seed, sea buckthorn, one of my faves, and pumpkin seed. Maybe I don't have this exact one. Sometimes the recipient has to greenlist stuff from the MailChimp multiple times. Oh, yeah. I I mean, most of you get the emails, but every once in a while someone will say, like, I didn't get the customization email that was supposed to go out today. So if you ever don't get the customization email, I also have a customization link that I open up on customization day right on time on the Goldie Box website. So you could always go on there and just click whatever bear type you are and go customize. You don't need to get the email. But I tried to send the email the night before this time because sometimes, some, last time people asked that, um, they said like, oh, could you send it early? Are you going to the Mets Stadium? I am. I am on the 27th, I think. No, 26th. Monday. Whatever Monday the Braves are playing the Mets, that's when I'm going. That would be so cool if you're there, Vanessa. I'll totally meet up with you. Um... I got, I got, um, club level. I got the Hyundai club section. Oh my gosh, this will not come off. Because I'm just like, if I'm going to be having these ballpark experiences, I might as well like go a little bit all out, you know? I don't know. That's all I, I haven't been able to travel. So I had all this <laughs> extra travel money that I had been saving for my Bali trip. And then I was supposed to go to Bali and Vietnam and Canada in 2020. Oh, I'm going to have to use my teeth. There we go. So, um, I had like travel funds that I could obviously use for something else, but <laughs> why not use it to be a little bit bougie at the um, ballparks I'm going to? Ooh, I like the smell of this one. See, I can smell this one. <laughs> bite the thing off I know it's the worst I hate putting uh foil in my mouth I don't know I feel like that's gross also like even if that was done in a factory what if like someone touched that I don't know you never know okay but it was the only way that I could open it um the mom in me wants to say our teeth are not tools <laughs> well earlier I used scissors um, and I feel like my teeth are safer than scissors, at least here on this channel. Teeth might be a little bit safer. <laughs> the last item is from Nuria Defend Skin Shielding Essence with Ginseng Carob. Okay. Um. <laughs> See, I've seen you with scissors, so use your teeth. Yeah, so last time I pulled the little thing out with my scissors, so... I think that's the day. Yay! That would be so cool, Vanessa. I'll keep in touch with you. We could definitely meet. Oh, this is pretty. It has little bubbles in it. 
Will you reorder the body scrub bonbons for future purchase in the store? I will. I didn't know if they were going to be popular or not, so I ordered a small amount. Um, now that I see that they are popular, they will be in the store again. The only problem is that, um, <laughs> that, uh, you will not get the free shipping option. So you have to spend a certain amount to get it for free. There is free shipping when you spend, I think, like $50 in the store. I feel like I should know this, but that one I like the scent too. Defend. I've never heard of this brand. Gently apply to face and neck. Used by itself or under a moisturizer. Okay. Um, we're going to a, a few times. My husband is annoying. I love baseball. Like even just the sound of the bat to me is just so amazing. Okay, what are you this box? Smile Sciences. So this is a teeth whitening kit. This is something you guys asked me to try when I said, what do you always see sponsored? that you would like to see unsponsored. And then we have, let me start making sure my address is down. We have a Try My Snacks box. This actually goes to my warehouse, so it's not that big of a deal if this address is down, isn't down, but I'm loving all this traveling. <laughs> Absolutely amazing and joy. Yeah, I, um, I typically travel a lot. Actually, I started a YouTube travel channel because I was expecting that I was gonna travel a lot more, and then the world kind of shut down, so. That was a fail. I went to Japan, I went to Croatia, and I went to Hawaii, and all of that, I guess I didn't really record much in Croatia, but all of that was up on, was I was gonna put up on that travel channel, and then it turns out that, you know, I couldn't really travel anymore, so there was no Bali, there was, and I didn't think anybody wanted to watch travel when we couldn't travel, so I was like, okay, I'm not even gonna have that. Uh, did you I did get the always pan it's actually in my room back there thanks just understand about the shipping for the later purchase also 50 is not hard to do in the goldie shop ginseng is so good I'm loving okay I agree with Catherine about the scissors baseball at the stadium is a ton of fun you still have going to games at Dodger Stadium getting a hot dog garlic fries and beer oh I always get a beer I feel like it just doesn't feel like I'm at a game unless I have a beer, you know? Like, there's just something about that that is just like, I don't know, feels really great. But I don't know that I love ballpark food, you know? I don't think there's any ballpark that I'm like, oh my god, the food there is so good. <laughs> What's the best product you ever got in a box? And do you have an all-time favorite Goldie item? So it's hard for me to choose an all-time favorite Goldie item because I literally, like, especially my first box, I picked all my favorite brands that I reached out to. And then, or like also Diff Eyewear, these are, these are key, but Diff Eyewear is one of my favorite brands that I have a lot of Diff sunglasses. I have a lot of Diff blue light glasses that I have purchased directly from Diff. Um, before I put them in my box. So there's a lot of brands that I'm a little bit obsessed with that I reached out to. Uh, same thing for Final Straw. If you go into my kitchen cabinet, I'll actually like post a picture on my Instagram story later. It's like full of Final Straw straws <laughs> because I kept collecting different colors. I wanted a rainbow one. They had like a black one. They had like a special blue one that was like a partnership. Then they had like a glitter one and I wanted all of them, of course. So I have like a ton of final straws. Before I ever started Goldie Box, I was obsessed with final straw. I was buying them for my friends for holidays and stuff or like Christmas gifts. Like, yeah, that was, it's hard for me to pick an item because what you're getting in Goldie Box, especially probably this first year, I would say like 75% of it is items that I just have truly loved for a long time. Maybe take me to the maybe take me to palettes are palettes that I've really loved before I ever put them in the box. Um, there are a few things like Halos was a new brand that was um, actually Vanessa's uh, friend introduced, or Vanessa kind of introduced me to the owner of Halos. And I do love the Halos, but that wasn't something that like I had been obsessed with for a couple years before starting, you know, it was something new. Also, uh, Bella Pierre Cosmetics. I wasn't so sure about that. I asked to try the palettes before, you know, I committed to them, but I ended up really loving those palettes. So that's why we had those. But I would say like the majority, like Happy Wax is the wax that I've used for a long time. The, the candle company I've used for a while. Um, the first candle company. 
the newest candle company. This is my first time using them. So it's, the, I just loved the scent and it was good. So <laughs> I wear my diff every way, every day. Um, agree that beer is necessary at a game, nachos and beer. The food is super good in SD. I went in SD too and I um, wasn't feeling well because I went to wine night and I drank wine on an empty stomach before the game because they have like all the little stands. So that was one of the ones that I recently went to. So I ate some like nachos that had carne asada, but I didn't even finish it. My friend like ended up eating them because she like she was there and she was also hungry and I was like, I don't feel so good. <laughs> I'm leaving for real. Okay, thanks, Vanessa. Um, what is so the best product I've ever got in a box? That's hard, but I am very obsessed with my one on one skin masks, the rose gold mask, and I am really obsessed with unhide little marshmallow blankets. So I would probably say it might be a tie between those two. Um, like, I literally use the little marshmallow blanket, blanket almost every single day. There's one on the back of my chair. There's one downstairs, like, on my couch. There's one, there's probably one or two in this little basket full of blankets right here. This is my loft area. There's one in that bedroom. There's one in the bedroom, like, the guest bedroom. <laughs> so I have a house full of unhides. These are unhide pillows. <laughs> like, um, once I like something, I'm 100% all about that brand. So... We got snacks from, I don't know, it looks like we got two places. Did this not come with a little? Usually this comes with a coin and it comes with a little pamphlet. So I'm going to have to message him because I know this person, but onion ring chips, some salt and vinegar spirals, a Milky Way and a Club Orange chocolate bar. And this says the crumbliest, flakiest milk chocolate called Flake. I might eat that one. This is Milky Way, but it just looks different. I'm kind of sad because I always get a coin. I didn't get a coin this time. Uh, so that is the Try My Snacks box. I have unboxed it on my channel before. Can I try this? Interesting. Um, I enjoy my final straws, great gifts. Can the dip blue light glasses be worn over prescription glasses? No, but I mean, you could change out the lenses to your prescription glasses and then just have your, uh, uh, they have like instructions on how to do that. If you buy it directly from Diff's website, I believe that they will put your prescription in them, but you have to buy it directly through them. If you get it in a box, you can still get your prescription put in them because they're made like at the right, like the frame is made to hold a prescription lens as well. But you would have to add blue light to that. In the winter, I sleep with three or four unhide blankets like I'm a snow princess. I love that. Um, scared of baseball because when I was a kid, all three of my brothers and my dad was coach. I was sitting in the car reading and a ball popped me on the knee. Oh no. And then gave me a black eye. Seriously. Oh, I do get a little bit of fear when a ball like pops up like right above me and I feel like it's going to like land right at me. But my fear is more like that I'll be embarrassed, I guess. It's really hard to embarrass me. But I feel like if some if it were to hit me on the head or if I was like try to catch it funny or something, that would be embarrassed. So I always hope that it's like near me somewhere else, but not like directly coming to me. Cause you know, then everybody's like watching you while you're catching ball. I don't know. Horror. <laughs> the flakes are awesome. Oh, I'm I am on your store. Let me go check this out. That sounds great, Vanessa. Okay, so we have Allure, Walmart, and then the BoxyCharm that we didn't do last time. Let's do the BoxyCharm. Actually, yeah, let's do the BoxyCharm. Your BoxyCharm June? Nobody knows. Nobody knows what this is. Who knows? This could be, like, even older than the ones we did last time. So last time we did my Lux Premium, June Premium, and then two May boxes so this has to be my June box yeah ta-da boxy charm I got Vitamasks 
excited for these. I'm pretty sure that um, Vitamask is a cruelty-free brand. I don't see it saying that anywhere on here, but I think I've looked them up before because I have the ones that they have that are shaped like gems, and I think it's the same brand. Actually, these are definitely cruelty-free because isn't Vitamask also the one that have the, like, pills? Yeah. I cried and was so embarrassed. I, I probably would be too. I never get embarrassed, but, like, I just feel, like, stressed, I think, like, at an event like that. Like, if I'm just at a party and I do something dumb, then I'm just like, haha, I'm dumb. Like, um, <laughs> I don't know. Or, like, I'll do weird things, like, wherever I am. Like, I don't care if I'm I'm in a restaurant and I'm like singing and I know I'm not a good singer but like if a song that I really like is on and I'm outdoors and like who cares if I'm humming a little tune you know I don't care so it's kind of hard to embarrass me but ooh this OPV shadow palette is really pretty this is spotlight eyeshadow diverse array of shades ensure your look stands out featuring the essential matte shades to create depth from subtle golden shimmers all the way to bold blue metallic yeah, this is my style. 100%. The Milky Way is different to the US one. I love flakes, but they're messy to eat. Love from the UK. Ooh, is that a UK? I didn't, I couldn't tell what the, normally I get like a little pamphlet that says what country it came from. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. This is my style. Blues and purples and greens and just like everything beautiful. Everything's beautiful. The Anastasia Eye Palette with Boxy Charm. Did you get the Anastasia Eye Palette Box Charm? Why does it not say intended for use around the immediate eye area? They have to say that if they have uh, pressed glitters, if they have... There are certain pigments <laughs> that they legally have to say that. We all use it anyways. If you look at some of your other palettes... It probably says that <laughs> so it is what it is but um, yeah you're not you're not supposed to put glitter around your eye especially if there's pressed glitter but I did not get the Anastasia eye palette I don't think I did maybe I did I don't even know <laughs> so next I have Vava pink lash primer from Luna magic Oh, it's, it's actually pink. I love lash primers. I have one that I use regularly that I already like, but I will try this. Um, and I like it when they're different colors like that. So then when you're putting your mascara, where you're putting on, first off, you can make sure you get all your lashes. When you're putting on your mascara over it, it makes the mascara look even more black to have the lighter color underneath. Like sometimes I've seen them in teal, white, and I think I've seen them in gray too, and then now pink. And I think it makes the black look better. It looks more black. I don't know how it does that, but it just does. You know, like it makes it pop. Um, all UK classic snacks. Okay. Thanks for explaining that. Okay. Moving on to the next one. Pharmacy whole, whole, holy grail. No, honey grail. Pharmacy honey grail. Ultra hydrating face oil. Those little bees right here. I'm usually not a huge fan of honey in my skincare. It is good for skin, but uh, it makes products not vegan. So just checking to make sure there actually is honey. I don't imagine that they would put little bees in the front without there being honey in it, but I want to make sure. Yes, honey extract, propolis extract. Okay, this also has royal jelly, and I do think that royal jelly, the only way you can get royal jelly is to... Um, be a terrible person to the bees. So <laughs> royal jelly is what the queen, what they feed the queen bee. So usually to get royal jelly, um, that's how you turn her into a queen. And they give it to their babies, but they give extra to the queen bee. So sometimes they will kill the queen bee from the hive and then put the little babies so that they have to choose a new queen and they have to cover her with royal jelly. Then they will take the royal jelly from the babies and the process of taking that royal jelly will kill all the bee larva. They're babies, but larva. So um, that's one of my least favorite ingredients because I do care about the bees and I don't care how great it is for skincare. So not 
super happy I got this because I probably, I might still use it because I hate to throw things away, but I really detest that ingredient a lot. It just makes me think about the poor little bees, the bees that are trying out there to like, although honeybees are not necessarily the best bees for us to be saving, they're still bees nonetheless. I do not discriminate against my bees. Um, <laughs> let's see what else is on here. Oh, premium takeover. I have not, okay, I have not got that box yet. That's the one. Did you get it? No, I subscribed to base and likes dot premium. I like that palette. The palette is so, so good. Worst bedtime story ever. <laughs> I have to, I have to tell, I have to tell the truth. Infused with hyaluronic acid, orchid flower water, and passion fruit extract. Flower dose plumping lip and eye serum. How is it going to plump my lips and my eyes? Why do I want my eyes to be plumped? Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Speak of honey, what's the best box to subscribe for the sale where Sunday Riley A plus is available? You know, I've seen it in BoxyCharm. What is this? <laughs> it's shaped like a needle, literally. Super weird. Um, I'm kind of intrigued. Do I just push on it? How do I get this out? Oh my gosh, that just shot. I don't know where that went. Okay, I guess you need to put your hand here. Oh, it just looks kind of like jelly stuff. Um, interesting. That's from Ireland, my home. So it just looks like it's just hyaluronic and so it's extra moisturizing and that's how they're saying the plumping works. Massage a thin layer all over your lips and outer contours of your eye area. Orchid flower, passion fruit, sunflower. What kind of hyaluronic acid do you have? Sodium hyaluronate. Yeah, so it probably just like penetrates your skin. Make sure you put moisturizer on top of this. You do not want to just use that on its own. Or you have to live in a humid, cli a humid climate. Um, I love the flake chocolate. <laughs> plump skin around the eyes. Yeah, hyaluronic acid will do that, but you need some sort of moisture for it to pull in because sodium hyaluronate will go into your, like the layers of your skin, but you don't want to just put it on by itself. Like you don't want to just put sodium hyaluronate and then never put a moisturizer on top of that. So you want to put a moisturizer. So then what it's doing is it's helping your skin absorb that moisturizer more. So especially you could probably put an eye cream or something else on top. Um, I do like eye creams, even though they are a little bit of a waste. So I, I see a lot of other channels, especially skincare channels, that say like the ingredients in an eye cream are exactly the same as the ingredients in a facial moisturizer. So like what are you really getting? It's just a marketing ploy. You're paying like $90 for an eye cream when you could get the moisturizer for like $30 or $40. That is true. But if you buy, like go to Murad, buy their eye cream, buy their moisturizer that has the same ingredients and you pump that out of the bottle, the consistency of the eye cream feels different just because of the makeup of that product. It feels heavier in your hand. It has a different molecular weight. So when it sits on your eyes, it's kind of like, you know, I don't know, the difference between like a generic, no, I don't know. I don't know what the right word would be, but like if you just buy a store-bought cake or something or go to a bakery and have a cake made, like there's a little difference in the ingredients are the same. You're still using like butter, sugar, whatever. It might be like more premium ingredients actually. I don't know. I'm doing a really bad job, but <laughs> the consistency is different. You'll feel the consistency is different even if everything on the ingredients is exactly the same. And that is what is doing the difference. And if you're putting eye cream on at night when our eyes swell up with water and can cause that like look to them and then they swell and then that drains the next morning or whatever having that there as like slightly providing a little bit of pressure just because of its thicker feel is actually better for your eyes so i still am team eye cream i don't think that it's completely a marketing ploy that's my rant because i see a lot of channels say that and even channels that are like skincare experts say that and i don't believe that oh i love these things oh my gosh has anybody ever tried these Listerine things? By the way, this is now my Walmart box. This box is like $7 or something. Um, they send you a bunch of samples, sometimes full-size items. 
typically ends up being worth it, but I have had one that was like terrible. Okay, let's see, what else did, did I miss? Is anybody talking about my rant yet? I think if you have saggy under the eyes, I use Hero Rescue Cream Balm at night cream and a caffeinated one in the AM. I also do like caffeine for my eyes. So these Listerine Ready Tabs are Listerine that you don't need, like they turn into water. So you just stick it in your mouth and you chew it and then it becomes Listerine. So it's like on the go Listerine. So you don't have to carry it around or if you're traveling, like travel safe. I'm obsessed with these actually, I buy these all the time. So glad I got those. And then I have an Optimum Moisture for Finger Detangling Natural Hair. I did put I have curly hair. It says Water Activated Advanced Conditioner. Um, what? Waikati. I have two Cetaphils. This one is the Extra Gentle Daily Scrub. And this one is the Sheer Mineral Sunscreen Mineral sunscreen, love that, at 50, SPF 50. It contains prebiotics and vitamin E formulated for sensitive skin. Wish I would have had that recently. Um, I have a NYX Professional Makeup Filler Instinct. Bitten Pout Plumping Lip Color. Okay, I probably can't use this. I don't see ingredients anywhere, though. Um... I had no idea Walmart boxes thing. It's the cheapest box. You, it's a seasonal box, and it's like now it's seven dollars. It used to be five dollars, but I think they, I think they charge me seven now. It's seven dollars, <laughs> and it does it come with a little thing? I think it does. Yeah, so it comes with this little thing, and shows you the potential items. So I didn't get this hand cream. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, so. They actually customize it to you, and I think they do a pretty good job. Um, my mom and I get different boxes every single time. So I think they actually use your survey, and they have a pretty extensive survey for a box that's only $7. They, of course, want you to go back and buy these things at Walmart, but it's good marketing, I guess. Long time ago, they used to have thin sheets that would melt on the tongue. Ooh, that would be good, too. I'll damp them melt together oh they were not together okay the listerine freshener things are better then definitely better oh everybody loves the listerine cubes yes is eye cream good for people with mila i don't know that for sure face cream to eye cream like 10 year whiskey to 20 year whiskey you know maybe it's hard because like the ingredients list is the same so I'm trying to think of like, when are the ingredients the same, but one is at a different consistency than the other? That's the difference. Like the way the ingredients are mixed is different. Um, <laughs> and probably also the percentages of each ingredient is different. Just because they're on this, they both have the same ingredients list, the percentage of something might be different on one than the other. Like we don't actually know those percentages and formulations, but this is a color for sure. Uh, purple. Oh no. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's like, I don't know, burgundy? <laughs> beautiful. Definitely beautiful. I honestly don't think that I can use this, but we've already put it on our hands, so we'll keep it. And then the last item is Find Your Happy Place Sun Kiss Ocean Waves Hand Cream, Sea Salt and Water Blossom. This is my kind of scent. Oh, we cannot open. Okay. Okay, we should probably open this. We have like 20 minutes and one more box. I can't believe that I went through all these boxes. I cannot believe it. That was so many boxes. Um, I mean, I did go pretty fast, but we ranted a couple times too. We ranted about bees. We ranted about uh, eye cream. <laughs> Oh, I love that. So this says you wouldn't want shea butter. Okay. Thank you, good and fine. Love that. Love, love that. Okay, I'm happy with my Walmart box. I'm not, normally when I unbox this, I calculate how much it's worth and is it worth the $7. But you know, it's only been one time where it wasn't. And it was worth it in value. It's just that I wasn't going to use anything in the box. And I don't even think I posted that video. Same ingredients, different weight. Water, ice cubes, evaporated water. That's true. That's true. 
um, body moisturizer versus face moisturizer. That's also true. You know, you guys are great at this. Um, also, like, the difference between, like, a, like, if you're making soup or sauce or something, the longer you cook the sauce, the more water evaporates, the thicker the sauce is. Whatever sauce you're making, including, like, gravy or whatever, like, that's how the process works. So, it's like that, like... The ingredients might be exactly the same, but you want it at a specific consistency for what you're trying to cook. Skin & Co. Whipped Cleansing Cream. Oh, so we're on alert. I have no idea what month this is. I'm assuming it's the newest month. But, you know, does it say anywhere in here? No. No, it doesn't. I'm so behind that I never know what month we're on, so... And eSpa Clarifying Clay Mineral Mask. I do like this brand. Um, or so far, the products I've received from the brand, I do like. We have Erno Laszlo Multitask Eye Serum Mask. This is not cruelty-free. This is the first item, not cruelty-free. June. We are in June. Thank you. Do you think the Walmart box would be good for an 11-year-old who steals all my crap? Yes, I do. And it's fun because they'll get their own box, and it's only like $7. Mine's seven dollars. I don't know what it is in other states because I believe that it's based. Um, the price change was because they had to start including taxes. Maybe it used to be five dollars flat, but now they like charge shipping, which I don't. No, five dollars was the shipping. I don't know what they charge now, but I know I pay seven dollars. <laughs> and I live in California, so I have a feeling other states are paying less than seven dollars. But I don't. Remember. I don't know for sure. Um. But I do think it's good for someone younger. And then they could fill out their profile themselves too. I think it even asks your age. So they it's a pretty extensive survey for being such a cheap box. We have Oribe. That's nice. Flash Form Finishing Spray Wax. I don't think I'll ever use spray wax though. But it's a great brand. I just canceled my alert. I didn't want to pay for another year. I also will not be paying for another year. But I think that I bought mine in September. So I should probably check and make sure. So that's two months away. The Don Ginby, Don Ginby 1899 Single Essence. This looks like K Beauty. Smells a little bit. Florida seven dollars too. Okay. Oh, you're in California. Then yeah, mine's seven dollars. Uh, this smells like fragrance <laughs> and then the last is La Russe, I think is that how we say it vegan cruelty free hypoallergenic usually these are brushes right made in China uh, but the brushes typically have an unreal price tag that I would never pay never ever ever oh these are so cute though <laughs> I think we got some like this that were gray. Now I have some that are black that have this like textured handle. They're cute. Cute for sure. This is our last box. She gets Pusheen box, which is so overpriced, but super cute. Um, there we go. Three brushes. It's probably gonna say like $90. I'm not even gonna look because who really cares? Um, <laughs> That's not what I would value them either way. And we did it. We went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven boxes in one live in two hours. And maybe eight. Did we do eight for some reason? Hold on. We did a petty bore. We did two fashion stuff. We did boxy charm. We did um, try my snacks, allure, and Walmart. Okay, seven. Oh yeah, the eighth one. I was like, I brought eight boxes up. Eight one was this, the dental thing that we're gonna do in a video. We're gonna do a review in a video later. I canceled my Walmart box because I couldn't use much from the last few boxes. The last box, I didn't post it because I just didn't have time to, and I actually filmed it. Um, and it was horrible. Like, literally one item I will use. But for a year before that, almost two years I think I've had the box, I have used most of the items. So for me, it 
I kept it to give it a little bit of a longer chance, but the last box was so bad. And I even calculated the retail value, and I think the retail value of my box was like $9 because they were all sample sizes, and I did milliliter for milliliter, and it was like $9. So I was like, I'm paying $7 for a $2 I don't remember. I should probably go look to be before I like say, but I remember it being like either nine or ten dollars. Like it was not enough to make it worth it. <laughs> Any fun items to show us that is in your Goldie Box store? So I have the whole box, one moment, of items that I took photos of right here because this is where I take my photos <laughs> up in this room. Oof. Oh my gosh, I almost fell over. <laughs> This is my box. We have some cute dog mom hats that are in the goalie shop. <laughs> They're fun. I mean, I'm a dog mom, so I didn't get cat mom, but I got dog mom <laughs> for all my other dog moms. These are the exact same company, David and Young. They have a really good give back story. They actually give back to several places. And, um, great price, but I ended up gifting most of it. Okay. Well, that is true. We also, we have more of these good vibes only. I also have it now in a, um, like black color because they didn't have denim anymore. Even though I know that was everyone's favorite. So I still have pink, white, but now I got this black color. All the hats. Dog mom hats are, oh no, are they? I'll try to order more. I'll try to order more. You guys, honestly, I never expect you to buy as much as you guys do in the Goldie shop. <laughs> so I order thinking like, how many do I think of this item I could sell? And then there's always like, I get surprised how quickly they sell out, you know. Would love a cat mom one. Let me see if they have one. Um, what about, are the avocado savers still in there? So I bought these because I just wanted to see, like, do I like this? Is this something I would want in a box? And then I decided I didn't want it in a box. So I do have a couple boxes of these that I was like, I'll put it in the shop. Anybody who does love avocados has a chance to do that. I bought, like, lid savers and avocado savers. But the lid savers that I bought, they canceled that part of my order. So. Um... You know, there's some things in here that I haven't even, I didn't take the photos of, so <laughs> you guys haven't seen them yet. Um, there are halos now um, in silver instead of gold. Those are in there. The little warmer. I should show, actually, let me grab the one that's already open. The wax warmer. Actually, I probably, I don't know if this one's sold out either, but it's a mini wax warmer from Happy Wax. So I can show you the actual size next to me in case there's still some available. So it actually comes with a silicone dish and the wax, after it cools, you just pop it right out. It's like the easiest system to get out of a wax warmer. Because if you ever have to like get rid of wax that you've been burning for a while, usually you have to like heat it up and then dump it out or like, you know, like some people put something there kind of similar to this, I guess, like, uh, not foil, but like something there so that like a words, words are hard right now. Um, like saran wrap or something like that. I don't know. I'm, I can't think of a right word, but they'll put some sort of liner so then they can pull it out like that. But this comes with a silicone cup that you just like pop out the wax and then you put it back in and put your new scent right in. So that's what I love about this. Happy Wax says low stock. All right. Well, if you want this run, um, I can order more though, but I won't order them in time for the free shipping that ends today. <laughs> and it's USB charged. So you just put this little USB guy in here and connect this to any USB charger. One left, oh my. Okay, there's one left. Good luck, guys. And then what else do I have? That sold out already. Somebody said that sold out. So you guys said you wanted more of these, these like body scrubs. Pina Colada. I do love these. What else? There's more body butters. So here's the spiced honey I was talking about. Citrus Free just sold out already. I'm pretty surprised how many things are sold out. <laughs> you guys are the best. <laughs> just saying. You really are. 
Um, if we buy the shop before you ship our box, will they ship together or avoid? Yes. But today's the last day. And you have to use the shipping code that was emailed out. So, Amy, there was an email that, um, I was actually, I feel like I was going to message you because I remember you wanted a pallet last box, right? There's an email with a shipping code. If you did not get that email, let me know on Instagram and I'll tell you what the shipping code is, but I don't want to say it out loud here because some people here might not be Goldie Box subscribers. Uh, yeah. So some people just like are buying without the shipping code. I don't, I gave you guys a shipping code, so I don't know why. <laughs> Um, but there's a few people that have paid for shipping and I can't like actually it lets me refund an item But it doesn't let me refund shipping. So I Don't know if maybe like you just got excited and didn't read the email all the way through But there will always be a shipping code for subscribers Usually I do it the weekend before everything ships But this time I did it for a week because I knew I wasn't gonna get my bronze spare item in time Um see I totally bought the last honey the last spiced honey okay well that one's out too there's still sugared peach probably um because I feel like I have plenty of those and I will continue to buy from Sophia um uh, Rinker she's great to work with and like all that and I think these are amazing like amazing so I will continue to buy from her the rest of the season but you'd have to spend $50 like I said to get free shipping going forward um Oh yeah, there's a last swab. Do I have that in here? There's an eyeliner trio now. There's more uh, of these World Finds bracelets. I don't know if any of these are still available. There is... There's like his and her swigs now. I got Mr. and Mrs. The hard thing with Swig is that they let me put things for sale a percentage over what I pay wholesale. And the percentage isn't the percentage isn't great. So I have to find wholesale sales. So like when they put this on sale, <laughs> then I can buy them in their wholesale shop and then the percentage makes it like a more manageable percentage to give you guys. Otherwise you would save like a dollar. So in order for me to make it worth it, I have to just like go with whatever ones they're having on sale. So last time they had those like tropical ones on sale that you guys like totally bought out. Um, this time they had these on sale and then this diamond sparkly one. I hope this is on the site. I think it is. I think this has been on the site since last time, but it was still on sale. So I grabbed a little bit more. Um, did not get it. Oh, well, we'll know for next time. Did not get the email or did not use the discount. So some people I, like just shopped without it. These come with straws too. The smaller sizes usually don't come with straws, but these ones did. So yeah, last time I had the take me to the lake or I love you to the lake and back and then sunset is my favorite color and then the flowery ones, which were great. And this time I have these and that shimmery diamond color one. So. Yeah, I will continue to see and if anything ever comes up that they're having like a wholesale sale on that because I know you guys like the swigs, I will keep putting them in there, but I have to get it on a wholesale sale or else like it doesn't even make sense for me to put it in there because you wouldn't save enough. Do you need the shipping code if you spend over 50? You do not. It will automatically give you free shipping if you spend over 50 and you are in the U.S. I pass on the fact that Thun one because no bumps. Oh, the... Yeah. Yep. Did not get it. Uh, low stock green, yellow in stock. Oh, for the, thank you so much. Sparkle not in the Goldie store. Oh no, Mr. and Mrs. in stock. I want the sparkle one. Okay. I, I could probably add it right now. I definitely took photos of it. I went over to a friend's house when I was adding them because, um, he got a new promotion and we were going to go out to dinner after. And so we were watching a Dodgers game and I was working on it and then I was like, I feel like I'm missing some stuff. Like I feel like there's some photos that I didn't upload. So that must be one of them because I thought I thought there were more items that I took and I just didn't have it on my computer when I was there probably. I'll try to add it right now if anybody like really wants it. Um, did not get the email, got my receipt. Oh no, I didn't see the sparkle yet. Okay, I will add that right now. I didn't 
read the email through to see the code. I just checked. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I could cancel your entire order and then you could go in and redo the order, but I can't promise that the items will stay in stock because if someone else is shopping at the same time, so let me know if you have one of those orders where you didn't put the discount code and you want to just cancel it and like try your chances at getting the items again, some things are sold out. So I know I'm going to add it right now, Amy. I, t I don't even know what I didn't add. So that's the problem is that I took a ton of photos and then I was like, well, here's all the items that I want to put in the shop. I went over, uploaded, did all the stuff while the game was on. And then who knows? How will the mystery boxes ship? They will not ship with your box. They'll ship later. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll go add those right now. And you guys just have the scoop on getting the sparkle cup. For sure the sparkle cup, but I feel like everything else, I'll look through my photos and see if there's anything else that I didn't add. But yeah, the mystery boxes, they're going to be their own, their own shipping thing. And it'll come later, just like all the mystery boxes have always come after I ship all the boxes. So if it takes me three weeks to ship Goldie Box, then it'll be three weeks before I start shipping the Winter Mystery Boxes, the Mr. Mystery Box, the uh, Pamper Box, like all of those I've always done it that way. I never ship them while I'm trying to ship Goldie Box because I always give priority to Goldie Box, like the actual box that you guys customize. And then I ship those when afterwards, so... Yeah, a lot of the shop orders get shipped afterwards, um, but some of them get shipped with your Goldie box too. You need an assistant move to Dallas so I can help you. I do. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to start needing an assistant for sure. I have the shop up. I can double check if you want. So I kind of showed everything. Um, the only other thing that I know for sure is that I have some extras of some of the items. Like I have some extras of like the Rise and Shine tea towel of, uh, I'm trying to think, something that like not too many people bought or customized. I have extra last rounds. So if anybody wanted to like order more of something, I could also add those. Okay, good night, Sue. But actually it is 7.30, that's our two hour mark. So that means that I am also going to be saying good night to everybody. I have 300 worth of Cosbox all true add-ons that I don't need. Still waiting for just what I need is more add-ons. <laughs> what type of items in the Mr. Mystery Box? I really need, I think Catherine's going to unbox a Mr. Mystery Box soon. So I need someone to unbox it. So um, I've had tools in it before. Um, what else have I had? I've had beard oil, shave like cream stuff, um, mostly tools. I had candles, the first box, which I can't get candles right now because they'll melt, um, but I had men's candles. They were scented like barbershop scent, like fresh cut grass. Uh, there was even one that was scented carbon fiber. That one was like super popular. People commented like, oh my gosh, they love this one or like leather, like really cool men's scented candles. Um, I did have socks in the first one. I had like a bottle opener that was shaped like a fish in the second one and like a fisherman's tool, stuff like that. I have men, I consult with men about the items that I put in there before I put them in there. So they are guy friendly boxes. It's not just me thinking like I know men, like I've asked other men and I've asked men that have different hobbies. Like I've asked men that like to fish. I've asked men that like don't like to fish. I've asked men that like to golf. Like, would you be happy with this? Would you be happy with that? And so in general, the consensus of the items comes from other men being like, yeah, you should add that. So I want another color of the socks if you put them in the shop. I probably have some, let me see what I have extra. <laughs> let me see what I have extra. I will try to post that in the next 30 minutes or so, and then you guys can uh, have a little extra sneak peek at some of the extra stuff, you know. Would love the men's scented candle. I will do that in winter months when, because that candle, some of them even melted to me in spring when I reordered them. So I decided, like, they just paid me for the shipment because they melted. So even any kind of warm, uh, 
whatever it's called, <laughs> warmth, any warmth and any kind could melt that candle just based on how they're made. So blah men. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.